What is going on guys, it is Fatal Reaper Day, bringing you guys a video, and today we're going to be talking about can the Resident Evil 4 remake, they're going to be releasing in, I believe, March 2023, will it be able to play on the HP Pavilion? What we're looking at here is the Resident Evil 4 remake PC requirements. Now, the PC requirements are not out yet for Resident Evil 4 remake, but standing in as a reference, as you can see here in the Google search, it shows that Resident Evil Village, these are the requirements for the uh, Resident Evil 4 Village, the pretty much the just released game. Will Resident Evil 4 be on Xbox One? This is another thing that we're kind of using is a, a kind of reference and everything like that. So for the HP Pavilion, I'll explain that here later in the video. So the Xbox uh, One, it will not be on the Xbox One, but it will be on the Xbox Series X and the Series S. Very important for the Series Series S. Now we're going to look at the, uh, the specs on the Series S, S, what it's equivalent to with the PC. And as you see, it's equivalent to an NVIDIA GTX 16, or 1060. What's on the HP Pavilion? A 1650. That being said, the HP Pavilion should have no issues playing Resident Evil 4 Remake. Uh, be sure you like and subscribe guys as always so what I'm showing you now is the original Resident Evil 4 I'm really excited for this game so the game is not necessarily a remake it's more of a reimagined game so it's I'm hoping they stay uh, stay really true to the uh, source material obviously the original game they're supposed to be doing that with just new graphics and like uh, basically kind of a new story reimagined so to speak so it's not gonna be like an exact down to T remake but it's still gonna have your same source uh, Material of the game, story, all that, characters, etc. So I'm really, really excited for this game. I cannot wait for this game when it comes out. Definitely we will be pre-ordering it and doing a test on the HP Pavilion. The main PC, I'll be streaming it. All that good stuff. So get, make sure you guys are subscribed and go follow my Twitch too, which is Fatal Reaper YT. If you guys want to see that in the future, and I will be streaming that. As well as the Modern Warfare 2 uh, remake that's coming out in October. I will be doing a test on that. On the HP Pavilion as well. That being said, guys, um, yeah, like I said, the HP Pavilion should have no issues playing the Resident Evil 4 remake. As you can see here, it's playing the original Resident Evil. Now, the, obviously, the original Resident Evil had basically no requirements in that sense. It was a very bare-bones game. I think it was a really good game, really good graphics for its time, and one of the best survival horror games, hands down. But uh, it really didn't take that much to run the game. So that being said, the HP Pavilion, I'm hoping should be uh should have no issues running the new one uh now again i will be doing tests on that and everything like that but with the information that we've uh that i've shown you guys and that i've gone over and researched it, it its requirements shouldn't be too much if if not any more than the xbox series s obviously if it's able to play on the series s it's going to have to be at least close to the requirements. And there are, obviously, as you saw, the specs on the Series S of the X, or the Xbox Series S has a 10, uh, 1060. So, and the GTX 1650 is what's on your uh, HP Pavilion for most of you. That being said, even the Ryzen version, I believe, should be able to play it uh, or should come close. So, there should be no issues as far as playing the uh, uh, Resident Evil 4 reimagined remake, whatever you want to call it coming out in 2023 on the HP Pavilion, as well as Modern Warfare 2 Remake. Uh, again, guys, I'll be doing tests on both of these games, uh, streams, and everything like that, so make sure you're subscribed and follow the Twitch. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave me some comments down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as possible. Still doing, uh, still doing other game tests on the HP Pavilion as well, and other little tips and tricks to help you guys out. That being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Follow me. Wait, follow me. Wait, follow me. Wait, follow me. On 
the other side of the bridge. Yeah. You take that one. Okay. Ready? 